What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we're going to talk about a very controversial topic between divers and that of course is diving doubles or diving side mount and which one's going to be best for you. Now I want to give you a quick disclaimer. This is going to be a very biased video and if you've watched our channel long enough, you will know we try to make unbiased content. We try to show you the pros and cons of each side and we kind of tell you to do what's right for you. Well, in today's video, I'm going to throw all that out the door because I want to make a very honest video for you guys and I want to make it a very biased video and I want to kind of explain why I lead towards the side mount side. I'm going to be talking about pros and cons of doubles and pros and cons of side mount but I want to show you why I personally choose side mount and why I personally think it's a better system. At the end of the video though, I want you to take all the information that you get from this video and make the decision for yourself. Now for me personally, even though I side with side mount divers, it's just a tool. That's all this is. They're tools for very specific situations. And based off your own, say, physical aspects in diving, one tool might work a little bit more efficiently than the next. But then again, it all boils down to what type of diving you're doing as well. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video and I'll show you or try to explain to you why I prefer side mount over back mounted doubles. So here's a question I got for you. Which one of these number two Phillips head screwdrivers is the best? Can you really answer that question? I bet it would be easier to answer that question if it was more detailed or I gave you more context to it. Such as, which one of these screwdrivers is going to be the best if you are having to put a lot of screws in a board? Say you had to put 20 screws in, you had a short amount of time to do it. Obviously, everybody would say the Makita drill with the number two Phillips bit. What if I said, maybe you're replacing the light cover on your, your light switch? You know, that little plastic cover that tends to break if you torque it down too much? Which one would be the best then? Most of us would probably say the standard number two Phillips head. But then if I said, wait a minute, which one's going to be the easiest to carry with you at all times so that you're always guaranteed to have a screwdriver when you need it? Well, then obviously it's going to be the Gerber Center Drive Plus there because it's easy, it's compact, and you can carry it with you. It's even got multiple tools in it. So could you really answer the same question when I said what's going to be better, back mounted doubles or side mount, without more context to that question? All right, let's talk about the pros and cons to diving doubles because they're pretty equally matched here as far as how many pros and how many cons. Now, I do want to state these are my pros and cons. Your mileage may vary with doubles. You may get a better experience out of them, but this is also based off my experience diving with doubles. So the first pro is, let's talk about filling doubles. Filling doubles is super easy. I do not have to fill from both posts. I can simply fill from one post and it's gonna fill both cylinders at the same time. Makes it very easy to do as long as that isolator valve is open when I'm filling. This is also gonna be very easy for me to do if I'm doing mix gas. If I'm doing nitrox or tri-mix, I could very easily fill both bottles with the exact partial pressure of O2 that I need 
at the same time. Whether the tanks get hot or not doesn't really matter in the sense they're going to be equal as far as what the partial pressures is. So filling's definitely one of the easiest things to do with doubles. Now, with it being one system isolated together, it's gonna to make it very easy when I'm breathing to keep these cylinders balanced out because you're gonna be breathing from both cylinders at the same time. And they're gonna last a pretty good long time because you're breathing them down equally compared to say side mount diving. Now, as far as the use of doubles, they're easy. Set it, forget it. It's no different than diving a single tank on your back as far as how you set the system up. You simply set it up to the height that you need, make sure that you can reach the valves during a valve drill, and off you go. It's pretty simple to do. It's a set it and forget it system. Now they are pretty easy to walk with. Yes, they are gonna be extremely heavy because you're carrying multiple cylinders with you, but it's easy to walk with. You don't have multiple cylinders balancing and just kind of you know wiggling around on you. They're both on your back. They're stabilized, especially with the back plate and wing, and it makes it very easy to walk with. And it's a pretty easy quick setup as well. Simply put one first stage on one post, one first stage on the other post. Make sure you have them evenly balanced out as far as hose routing, things like that, and off you go diving. So the setup is very easy to do. It's very similar to the single back mount setup. And then getting on and off a boat makes it very easy as well because you can do giant strides. You can do rollback entries. You can climb ladders very easily with doubles. Yeah, they're going to be a little heavy maneuvering around on the boat. They're going to be heavy as you climb the ladder but it's still one system that you don't have to worry about and you really don't change anything as far as what you learn in your open water program with a single tank on your back. Now with the pros out of the way, let's kind of look at all the different cons that there are with back mounted doubles because there's a lot of cons for me that kind of shy me away. And yes, these are my doubles here. I dive steel 80s. They're these little short guys that I absolutely love. As a matter of fact, I have several other steel 80s that I work with and we're going to be talking about working environments and why I like doubles. But as far as the steel 80s go, they are extremely heavy sometimes. And for somebody with me with back problems, that can be uh, a condition that kind of weans me away from diving doubles. So if you have some type of physical handicap or maybe you have back problems, you can't take all that weight on your back, or maybe you got a physical handicap where you can't reach back to feather a valve or to shut off your isolator or whatnot, that can be an issue. As far as transport, picking up and carrying these things by yourself can be difficult. By all means, we would encourage you to do this with your buddy, but if you're a solo diver like me, sometimes diving doubles can be difficult because you may have a long walk with these. You may have to pick them up to put them on your truck bed or something like that, and it can be difficult when you're by yourself. As far as malfunctions, if you have that physical handicap, you may not be able to reach back to do a valve drill. You may not be able to tell what the problem is simply based off the problems behind your head. You can't really see the problem as well. Now, last thing is for me is penetrations. I cannot go into the areas that I like to go in when I'm diving doubles like I can with side mount. See, with doubles, I've always got to worry about hitting that oscillator valve or rolling off one of the valves here, and I can't simply fit into the small little tight spaces that I can with side mount. So as far as penetrations, that's kind of a no-no with me when it comes to diving doubles. So with me personally, with pros and cons of doubles, when do I dive them? Well, I dive them when I work. And you guys know I do a lot of public safety diving. I do a lot of salvage work. And in public safety diving, I typically will not wear them simply because I'm only doing 20 minute dives. But when I do underwater recoveries and salvage work, sometimes I will wear them. If I need that extra gas, if I'm gonna be in a stationary position and I'm not having to swim around with doubles, then by all means, I will wear doubles if I need the extra gas. It doesn't really matter the hose routing for me. Typically, I am gonna be in that typical tech setup with a long hose and a short hose. But I can also dive with a full face mask in a salvage situation if I need the extra gas. Maybe I'm going to be or extending my time underwater by taking extra bottles in a working environment, having the tanks on my back. It makes it very easy to keep everything out of my way up front and the doubles really come in handy for me. But as far as just fun diving, doubles simply aren't for me. All right, now let's change gears and let's go over to the side mount ram of things and we'll look at some of the pros and cons in my personal diving with side mount and we'll talk about why I really like to prefer side mount over doubles. And if you can't tell, I've got way more side mount bottles than I do, of course, doubles. But getting started, let's talk about transport. Side mount bottles, in my opinion, are so much easier to transport. It's really no different than just carrying two singles with you. It's very easy for me to walk and it's very easy for me to load side mount bottles onto a pickup truck. 
I can actually kind of set everything up by myself. I don't even need a buddy to do that with. As far as Donan and Dolphin, if I'm in a situation where I can simply walk into the water or even getting on and off a boat, I don't have to worry about a lot of heavy gear. I can simply jump in, have the bottles handed down to me, or I can go ahead and place the bottles in the water, which a lot of times I do here locally, and then walk into the water and get everything adjusted while I'm still standing up. So Donan and Dolphin is very easy to do with side mount. As far as dealing with malfunctions, they're even easier than with back mounted doubles. You see in side mount, the bottles are on your side basically and the valves are gonna be directly in eye shot of you at all times. If you have an issue with one of your posts or your first stage, you could very easily reach down and fix the problem. And more importantly, you can see what the problem is without having to remove gear. But if you do need to remove gear, these are so much easier to remove than what a set of back mounted doubles are. Now, as far as trim, trim is very easy with side mount. It's almost a cheater way to get around the basic trim skill sets that you need as a diver. See, as you shift your tanks down across the fulcrum point, when you dive side mount, they almost force you into perfect trim. Doesn't matter if you got aluminum or steel tanks, having great trim and side mount is very easy to do. And then last but not least, of course, the penetration capabilities. Trust me, I can penetrate a lot more tight spots diving side mount than what I ever could with doubles. And if you're an exploratory diver like myself, maybe you like overhead environments, maybe you like just going through shipwrecks, doing that in side mount for me is a whole lot easier to do than what it is with doubles. Now that we've looked at the pros, let's talk about some of the cons that I've come across being a side mount diver. One, you are dealing with multiple bottles and sometimes you're gonna have to juggle those bottles when you're underwater. You've gotta keep them balanced as you are diving. Speaking of balanced, let's talk about about nitrox and trimix fields. I'm filling these bottles with the same system, but since it's not an isolated system where I'm filling them at the same time, sometimes these bottles can be a little difficult to actually get the same blend in both bottles. And if I'm filling these bottles with other cylinders as well, and I just want trimix or say nitrox in these bottles, I'm gonna have to separate them out to where I'm not putting just plain air or nitrox in bottles that I don't actually want it in. As far as walking with these, they can be difficult. You do have to have a specific side mount system or you have to modify your system like I did to actually walk with. They can be a little out of balance as you're walking compared to say a set of doubles on your back. So walking with them can be a little bit difficult as well, especially if you're carrying tanks, a scooter, or any other type of accessory. When you dive side mount, you really got to be focused on the bottles themselves and not all the other accessory items that we typically take with us. Now, as far as donning and doffing these, we talked about how easy it is to do in the water. Sometimes getting on and off a boat can be difficult with side mount. If you're dealing with extremely heavy seas and you try to jump in and then have your bottles handed down to you, it can be difficult. Now I did do a video in the past showing you how I get on and off a boat with a set of side mount bottles, but like I said, sometimes you may have to modify your system or have a system that is specific to side mount diving and boat diving as well. Now as far as dealing with say standardization, this is where side mount really kind of gets slapped in the face. There is no standardization when it comes to side mount. Yeah, maybe individual teams are gonna have standardization, but around here, all of our side mount divers dive different manufacturers of BCs. They have different side mount rigs. We even dive different length hoses when it comes to our setups as far as side mount. So standardization can really be difficult as well. And even in a working environment, if I'm working, I want the tanks on my back, out of sight, out of mind. I don't wanna to have to struggle with those tanks really getting in my way, especially being a salvage diver. They can get in my way very easily being on my side, especially if they droop forward a little bit. And then last but not least, if I'm diving, say in that salvage work and I'm using a full face mask, I typically have to use a manifold that I can switch between the bottles in the event that say I have a catastrophic failure. And so it can be difficult. You're gonna to have to dive extra hoses and really change your configuration if you're diving say a full face mask situation. So that's kind of some of the cons to diving in a side mount situation. So for me personally, the pros definitely outweigh the cons when it comes to side mount diving. And I would much rather dive side mount than back mount. Now, like I said, there are times when side mount would not be appropriate, especially in say in a working environment, I do a lot of salvage work and it's just simply not appropriate for me to use side mount for that type of dive. However, I still for fun diving, recreational, technical, overhead environment, 
I would still much rather dive side mount than I would back mounted doubles. But the decision is going to have to be up to you which one you would actually prefer. As a matter of fact, down in the comment section below, I would love to see some really great dialogue as far as what you think. Why do you think back mount's better than, say, side mount? Why do you think side mount's better than back mount? Let me know down below which one's going to be best for you. Let me hear the pros and cons for you. Yes, this video is a very biased video. Your answer is going to be very biased as well, but we need some great dialogue here. We need to know what do you think is better, back mounted doubles or side mount. Don't worry about the whole bias thing. At the end of the day, you have to decide what's going to be best for you and you alone. Don't let nobody influence you, your instructor, some Scooby YouTuber like myself. We don't need to be the influencer. Only you can make the right decision for you and what's going to be best for the type of diving that you do as well. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you understand it needs to be a biased decision because you need to be basing your decision off back mounted doubles or side mount and what's going to be best for you. But let me know down below if you liked the video, you found it educational, you found it thought provoking, simply give me a big thumbs up and definitely share this video as well. Guys, if you enjoy this type of content, let me know down below. Come in 2023, we are going to be changing up our video formats a little bit and we want to know from you guys, what are some of the topics you want us to discuss more? And that's what we're going to start putting on video. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.